Hello, I'm Ehsan. In this video, I want to talk about SBI as a peripheral in STM32 Series F1. Okay, I prepare a document for SBI and want to show that what is SBI and how we use them in STM32. Okay, go to document and talk about that. SPI in STM32 Series F1. One of the most important parallel communication is SPI, and the speed of that is more than other protocol like your. SPI work with a lot of module like RFID card reader and so on. If you want to definition of SPI, it is a protocol without interrupt and uh, we can send and receive any bit we want constantly this interrupt is not uh, the interrupt we have in uh, writing code this means uh, common I mean we don't have uh, something cut is the parallel uh, same as uh, send bit at the same time it means without interrupt okay Go to next paragraph. Base of this communication is on master and a slave. We have one always. We have one slave and we have a lot of uh, one master and we have a lot of a slave. For example, two, three, or one. It's not important. In the simplest states, we have one master and one a slave. We have M O S I is called uh, Musi. Uh, we have M I S O MISO S C L K is re uh, related to clock and S S or C S is related to chip select. I write that M O S I or MOSI master output. You can see that master is output and send message for a slave. A slave input MISO. Master input, a slave output, and you can see that in here, uh, a slave is output and send something for master. Then master is input that there. SCL call related to clock because this protocol is synchronous. SS or CS uh, chip select and in SPI it work when this pin is select zero. This peripheral, I mean SPI, use internal clock and this protocol is synchronous. This is for emphasize. And the next, uh, when we have two or more a slave, we can configure uh, this master and a slave. Uh, one way is this, uh, we have one master and two a slave, you can see that. Uh, this is the circuit and we have two chips select uh, in somehow uh, when we don't have uh, output or gpio this is really useful this part or this the second configuration is really useful because we have one chip select for two a slave and you can see that the circuit okay uh, next, two things in SPI is really important, C pole or clock polarity and C fa or clock fuzz. For example, I send 0 cross 19, the binary is 1, 0, 0, 1 and 0, 0, 0, 0 with SPI and see what happened on oscilloscope. Okay, at first uh, we have four modes in SPI, we can use that. Uh, one of them is rising gauge. Uh, I mean that the base is this. We have the rising gauge in here, and clock source is zero. Okay. After that, when we have a rising gauge, this is the output is one, and another is uh, this is the rising gauge. This is the zero and in this case is falling and this is the rising gauge we have zero this is the falling gauge uh, rising gauge you can see that we have one and 
in output I have 1, 0, 0 and 1 and 4, 0 you can see that when I have rising gauge the output is 1 the other rising gauge output is 0 the other rising edge output is 0 the other uh, rising edge output is 1 and the other rising gauge is here 0 other rising gauge is 0 other rising gauge is 0 the other rising gauge is 0 and we have this part uh, the mode 2 is falling edge uh, at first we have falling edge and you can see that in oscilloscope uh, the clock source at first is high uh, the falling edge we have 1 after that the falling edge 0 after that the falling edge 0 the falling edge is 1 and so on we have 4 0 in here and in the cube mix you can see that uh, second falling edge it means uh, the edge is set as 2 edge in this case and uh, second falling is is the one is not and the second is second falling one is not that and two and we have the same idea and the second rising gauge you can see that this mode okay go to cube mix and make the project Okay, choose your micro. I change my micro to C8, and this is it. Go to system core, system serial debug, go to connectivity. SPI1 is mood is a full doublex master. Okay, go to parameter setting and uh, data size is this and pre scale change to 256. And as I talk about, clock polar uh, polarity is low and clock fuzz is 1 edge, as I say in my document, is about that. Okay, go to MVIC and take this. Everything is okay. Go to SPI 2 and change mode to full doublex slave and choose hardware NSS input signal for uh, chip select. Uh, this part is for chip select and change to this part. Go to NVIC and tick there. Okay, then go to the pin configuration and want to see about SPI. This is the SPI 1 and this is SPI 2. And you must connect it to MOC or uh, MUSI to that MUSI. Uh, I mean PB15 to PR7 and PR6 to PR14 and PR5 to PR13 and uh, one pin is output for chip select or SS uh, as I say this pin at first uh, select or reset to zero because we want to send something uh, change to output okay everything is okay and change the project name to test for example i use the cane copy only necessary library file and this is the place i want to save it this project um okay everything is all right Generate the code.
open the project okay this is the SPI go to main.c and you can see that uh, type handle def SPI1 and SPI2 uh, add this code to this project I write it before a notepad is not enough time to explain what happened but I explain what happened to there okay add to PV and then this is for there I explain what happened here and then this part to initialize user begin to and after that add this part on the while to run the code okay that's it go to option for target debug setting flash download tick here and compile the code Okay, zero error and zero warming. Uh, at first, uh, let's explain what happened. Uh, in private variable, uh, big in PV, I define uh, data underline ticks for transmit something uh, to a slave with master. Master sends something to a slave. For example, I send one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In 10 bytes or 10 bytes and define data underline rx to receive uh, a slave receive this number after that uh, i use the interrupt uh, spi interrupt and you can see that this is the structure of that and this line is about uh, active again uh, receive it in a slave this is it, uh, and because in Rx, uh, this number is 2, because uh, SPI1 is a slave, it transmits something, and SPI2 is uh, uh, SPI1 is master, send something, and SPI2 is a slave, receive something. This is it, we have a right 2. And the other thing is for initialize, uh, for receive IT, at, uh, we have one, two, three parameters in here. Parameter one is about which SPI we can use for receive, SPI two, as I say. Um, parameter two is about uh, data, uh, we want to receive that. And the last one is about size, you can see that. Uh, in while I use whole on the line SPA transmit one two three four we have four parameters in here first is about the SPA because uh, SPA one is the master and transmit something and you can see that and the two is uh, the pointer is uh, point to something we want to transmit something that and the third one is about the size of the uh, data and the last one is about timeout you can set as 100 or 200 you want that and this line i mean why uh, is waiting for a transmit and you can see that get a state for spi1 and wait for a transmit prepay and Okay, this is wait for uh, get a state, and you can see that uh, how underline SPI state ready, 
it's only a way to uh, master or transmit again uh, prepare to uh, send something else this is it and compile uh, okay I forgot something this is my circuit yeah this is my circuit PB15 connected to PR7 PB14 connected to PR6 PB13 connected to PR5 and PB12 connected to PR4 uh, this is it and uh, let's compile this code and see what happened here okay let's see that what happening to debugger go to debug and uh, go to PV where is it okay click here to TX and add to watch one click here to RX and add to again watch one and uh, right click here and omit this stick right click here again and omit this stick and you can see in data tx we have one two three four five until ten um, in rx uh, transmit this data to rx okay uh, at first reset the program and then compile that again uh, sometimes it's, it's happen again reset the program and again compile that you can see that what happened in here one two three four five six seven eight nine to transmit uh, for rx is we have this data again this means uh, master transmit and a slave receive that data for example i change uh, one of this data for example 10 to 12 okay you can see that the 9 is the change 10 to change to 12 for example 9 change to uh, 13 in 8 bytes and you can in uh, tx and you can see that what happened 8 is changed to 13 okay uh, this is the SPI and how to use it in STM32 thanks for watching me please subscribe me bye